Hello and welcome to my show. Uh, this is a MIDI interface that I developed. It's uh, based on an Arduino. And here I have a schematic of how it actually works. So I have an XBase 09. This is this one, this machine. Uh, it's a drum machine and I just use it as a MIDI source that is a source of MIDI data. Uh, the MIDI data is, um, is sent over the MIDI cable to the Arduino and the, Ar the Arduino is just uh, used as a, as a serial decoder. It decodes the MIDI data from the XBase and uh, the, the, MIDI da the decoded data is then uh, used uh, to, to set the, the outputs high or low. We have eight outputs um, which control eight inverters and the output of the inverters uh, is used to uh, control the eight instruments of the rhythm maze. So we have just the Arduino is the is used as a MIDI interface for the rhythm maze. Uh, we use the inverters uh, to. Um, these are just uh, transistor inverters with general purpose transistors and they are used to, uh, to drive a higher current for the rhythm ace. So the low current of the Arduino uh, is transformed to a high current for the rhythm ace. Uh, the inver transistor inverters, I just copied the inverters from the service manual of the Roland here. CR78. This is the. This is uh, from the service notes from the Roland CR78. Uh, you can see here uh, the latches. They are controlled by the uh, microcontroller, by the Roland microcontroller, and above the latches, these are the inverters that control. The instrument output so that here are the uh, trigger signals for the instruments of the CR78. And here you can see this is a close up. I don't know if you can see this. It is just a close up of the inverters. So this is the transistor circuits. You can move it. Um, I have an, a better view of the inverters. So this is just a transistor. A transistor. Uh, we have a 56k resistor and a 10k resistor. And the way that this works is, we have an output uh, of around 7 volts. Uh, we need a high going edge for um, the instruments of the of the Ace Tone Rhythm Ace. And therefore, we need a low going edge on the other side. And this low going edge uh, is created. Uh, by the Arduino. So the Arduino input uh, is on this side and this the other side is the output for uh, the rhythm ace. So we have a can have a, a higher current for the rhythm ace and don't um, have such a lo high load on the Arduino. That's the purpose of the inverters. Um, 
you can see the rhythm as here. This is the uh, um, this is the analog board of the rhythm as. The rhythm as looks like this. I have two of them. Um, it's the Astone FR3, the model, and it's from around the year 1973. You can see here is the uh, shift registers, the flip flop based counter. This is all discrete, discreetly built. Um, we have some um, Germanium transistors here. This is very, very old um, technology as you can see. And it's actually one of the first solid state uh, rhythm machines. On this side we have the, um, this is the diode matrix. Uh, it just converts the, the outputs of the flip-flops and triggers the, the, analog, um, the analog board. So we have eight instruments here. I also have this, um, this old manual of the Rhythm S FR3 and you can see the instruments. These are the eight instruments. So we have a bass drum, low conga, high conga, rim shots, snare drum, claves, maracha, maracas and cymbal. And can show you how this works. So this is the, the Arduino. We have the Arduino Duo Melanove. Um, on below and on top is the uh, MIDI shield, the spark fun, I think, MIDI shield. So it's just uh, you just put it on top and uh, the connectors go through to the to the ground. Change the tempo, there are some glitches. That may be due to the MIDI implementation. So you see here the the eight uh, outputs of the of the Arduino. They go in these, these are the transistor inverters. You see the transistors, silicon transistors and the resistors. And they go to the trigger inputs of the rhythm A's. Here you can see the large coils of the LC circuits of the rhythm A's. So I think that's it, I hope you enjoyed it.